Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share with you guys a little 3x4 card that I made. This is for Oh Yeah It's Jen's Christmas slash holiday 3x4 card challenge giveaway. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you guys can play along and get all the details for yourself. But basically, it's kind of like an ATC, only a little bigger, and she wanted it in kind of a winter theme. So I knew that I wanted to do something kind of whimsical, funny, and use the CC Designs snarky Christmas set that I picked up at Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. And I think these sentiments are so funny. This one says, deck the halls and not your family. And when I first read that sentiment, I thought, gosh, that's a little violent. Um, and then it just occurred to me a couple nights ago, it doesn't mean like deck a person like to knock them out. I think it means more like decorate or it could. So I decided I was going to do a little card using the sentiment and putting in um, some little dogs because to me, dogs are like family. And I know Jen likes lawn fawn. So I got out my lawn fawn critters in the dog park set and I used this little terrier up here. I actually used a couple of different ones too and I prepped them all. I fussy cut each one and I actually fussy cut each one twice as you can see so that it would add a little extra dimension and interest and I put foam adhesive between the two layers and I thought that gave it a little bit more substance too and then I realized this little dog is awfully small for a three by even for a three by four card just by itself. So I looked through my stash and found this little poodle from this recollection set. I don't know what it's called. Woof woof, I think. <laughs> um, so that like my little biscuit could be represented here in this card to Jen. Um, and then I really tried to just keep everything consistent um, in terms of color. I wanted it to be pink and green and white. And really that's kind of about it. I use different shades of green, of course, but I wanted this Christmas pennant or banner um, to be very tight in that color family because I know Jen likes that really bright and cheerful um, kind of color theme. And I had this Fifth and Frolic Flutterbees, you know, these little pennants that you pull out and use like however much of it you want. And this is great for using, you know, getting quick little pennants into your layouts or cards or whatever. But the color story is a little bit too summery for me, at least for this project. So I cut out from cardstock some dark greens, some reds, and layered over the those triangular pennants. It actually was a lot more work using trying to use those um, pennants, that banner, then it probably would have been for me to just cut little, die cut little pennants out. But in any event, I thought it looked really cute. And in order to get those little snowflakes on there, I used my Martha Stewart snowflake butter uh, border punch. And I just used the snowflake punch outs, not the border. And I glued each one, each pennant got one snowflake. And I use my Folk Art Extreme Glitter acrylic paint and this is in hologram and I just love the shimmer and shine that that gives. Um, I don't know if it's going to come across in the video but it's a much stronger um, glitter effect than Wink of Stella although I used Wink of Stella over top of this little dog and um, over some of the snowflakes. This you know, you'd be surprised. This looks very simple. <laughs> but this took me a whole day to do <laughs> between all the fussy cutting, you know, with the exacto knife to get in there between the legs and everything and the multiple dogs that I did and then the covering up of the little pennants with different cardstock pieces that I hand cut out. Um, it's kind of ridiculous how long, how slow I am. Plus, because I'm neurotic about cleaning my stamps, I don't like any staining on them. Right after I use each one, I have to go and clean it in the sink. <laughs> so in any event, I really like how it came out, and I hope Jen does too, because it was truly, truly a labor of love. 
Um, if you guys get a chance, please go check out Jen's channel and challenge. She is super, super talented. She does art journaling, card making. She makes great shaker cards. Really, really great. Wonderful addition to the YouTube community. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.